Mark at Colbert Speed Recovery Finish Network. So you got a newer Camry, it's got the 2.5 engine in it, and you want to put a intake system on it and see how it performs and how it sounds, you came to the right video. All right, so we got my 2016 Camry, nothing special, just my daily driver. As of right now, it's 100% stock. And we have our Amazon um, slash eBay super cheap short Ram intake. Um, it's 78 bucks. We're gonna do some sound testing and also we're gonna do some actual data and see does this improve zero to 60 times, et cetera, et cetera. Let's take the car on some zero to 60 runs. Let's get some baseline performance numbers, throw the intake on, do a comparison and see does this intake do anything for this car? This is my first time doing actual data on performance modifications and seeing zero to 60 compared to zero to 60, does it increase performance? I was on Google, found this Drag Racer app. Um, this app actually tells your zero to 60, it tells your quarter mile times, all that through GPS. All right, they're coming to a complete stop and go. It was a very hot day, so these runs were uh, as expected. We had a 9.0 followed by an 8.9, then we had an 8.8, .8, which is only 0.3 seconds slower than factory specs. So let's put on the intake and let's see if we can make any gains on these numbers. This is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. Take fully installed. Let's go for some more zero to 60 runs and let's see if we gained any horsepower. All right, let's turn on the AC for a second. Let you guys hear the engine. So this is like one to 3,000 RPMs. Okay, let's go maybe like one to 5,000. All right, so it sounds a little bit more throaty. That's expected. It's like the coast is clear. Let's put it in sport mode. And we're off. All right, so we did show a little bit of gain here. First run was an 8.9, second run followed by an 8.8, .8, and then the third run definitely shows a little bit of improvement. We got an 8.7, 0 to 60 on a very hot day. Took all three numbers on our first 0 to 60 run. We got an average of 8.90 to 60. Took all of our numbers from our second run. Got an average of 8.8 seconds. I'll let you guys 60. hear a 50 roll. Just downshift. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up. I do not think there is a hell of a whole lot that you can do to this car to make the zero to 60 that much faster. Only got a 2.5 liter four cylinder. The car weighs like over 3,200 pounds. I think it's like 3,500 pounds. Way too small of an engine uh, for a huge sedan, but you know, they put the 2.5 in for some models for gas mileage, whatever, whatever. However, I do think there is a lot of potential when you guys saw that 50 roll that we did. The car, the intake really shines in that spot. Uh, the acceleration from 50 to 90 was like, I, it felt like way faster with the intake. Z the zero to 60, nah, it didn't really feel much faster at all. The data did, however, show us we gained uh, one tenth of a second. So it's one tenth of a second faster zero to 60 now. So wrap it up, eBay intake for the Camry. For 78 bucks, I'm gonna say, hey, go ahead and buy it. Um, we haven't really done any miles per gallon testing with this intake to see if it increased our miles per gallon. Uh, I think it might possibly do that. But for 78 bucks, the car was definitely a little bit quicker, 50 to 90. 
and the data did show us it was one tenth of a second faster, zero to 60. I mean, if, you know, for 78 bucks, I think it probably gained maybe two horsepower. Not bad. The install only took us 20 minutes, 30 minutes max. So it was a super easy install, 78 bucks free shipping. I mean, if you guys just want to play around with your Camry, I'd, I'd give it a thumbs up. I'd say, hey, play around with it, do what you want to do. Um, I would definitely give it a thumbs up. That's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. I got some groceries. I got to get back home. <laughs> like, subscribe, new videos every week.